I grew up playing with the boys. Because my father had a team, my brothers all played, all the kids came to our house because we had the field to play in, we had the baseball equipment, but I always played with the boys. And nobody thought anything about it. As a matter of fact, most of the time I picked the team. <laughs> you know, I, I None know, of the boys ever squawked about no, it. They no, 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 no. I was better than they were, most of them. And they could handle that. Well, they didn't have any choice if they wanted <laughs> to play. I mean, I had the equipment. <laughs> yeah. So, I'll tell you this, my father was never prejudiced. Mm -hmm. uh, if you can play, you know, good enough to be on the team, then why shouldn't you be? Mm -hmm. It was good enough to milk cows and shovel manure and do that kind of stuff, so. My fondest memory of playing ball is in our backyard at East Greenwich. He would back up, his back would be to the barn, to the big double doors in the barn, and he would be hitting toward the house. So he hit ground balls, and he could hit one to Allie, one to Bobby, and one to me. Then another one to me, and another one to Bobby, and another one to Allie. And he could just go back and forth, back, and it was phenomenal. Because, you know, we were 10, 11, 12, 13 years old. Mm -hmm. We don't throw very good strikes. And he hit everything we threw. And I said to myself, that's how I want to learn to hit. Mm -hmm. I want to be able to get the bat on the ball the way he does. Mm -hmm. And I think that's really what made me a halfway decent hitter. This is an actual ball from the league that I, when I joined the league, this was the size ball that they were using. They used six different sizes, and that's what most people don't know. Uh, when the league started, uh, there, were no, there were no overhand pitchers because there was no women's baseball. So when the league first started, the pitching was underhand, and it was either the windmill, like that, or it was like this. And, but they used baseball rules. And they also used a 12-inch ball. Pitching distance was shorter, base paths were shorter. I, when I led the league, I had nine, and I happened to hit one the last night of the season. Yeah. Three of us had eight on the next to the last night. And on the final night, I hit one to lead the league with nine, with a 10-inch ball. Yeah, been a long time. This is a replica of the uniform. Those uniforms were, were really sharp. Mm -hmm. I mean, if, if you saw the movie, you, yeah. you could see how nice they looked. And she said, well, how did you slide? Well, you know, how did you slide in shorts? The same thing. Mm -hmm. We had shorts under them. Mm -hmm. and, and besides, if you really slide at top speed, yeah. you don't get hurt. It's mm -hmm. when you slow up and kind of jump into the base, that's when you get hurt. And I mean, we had one girl, and, and she could run like the wind. Mm -hmm. But every time she got ready to slide, she like turned around, took these little short mm -hmm. steps and, and like jumped into the bay, and she'd get a strawberry every time. And we say, eh. <laughs> I mean, I used to get one once in a while. I used to hook slide, but I used to get it inside my elbow <laughs> when, from dragging that arm. See, at home they called me Will or Willie, and the only time I was ever called Briggsy was in that league. <clears throat> one of the league's premier hitters. Briggs he led the AAG PBL in home runs in 1953. She credits Max Carey with teaching her how to hit to the opposite field, to bunt for a base for a hit, and how to protect the runners on base, and a heck of a lot more than that. That's what it says. <laughs>